Hi, my name's Luke, I'm the creator of the website RS2 Rags to Riches. In this guide, I'll be showing you how to make money whilst training in skill mining. If you've done the medium Varrock achievement diary tasks, you will receive Varrock armor. Varrock armor can be worn whilst mining to uh, receive a chance of obtaining two ores from a rock. The medium task version of this armor will work up to Mithril ore, and the hard task version of this armor will work up to Adamantite ore. If you're wearing a glory amulet with four charges, you'll receive an additional chance of obtaining gems from a rock. Firstly, I'm going to be mining clay, which can be found southwest of Varak. Clay requires a mining level of one and is really, really fast to obtain. Clay is worth 411 gold per piece, but offers very little mining experience. If you have completed the quest room mysteries, then you can mine pure essence. This requires a mining level of one's mine and offers the same experience as clay. Per pure essence is worth 111 gold, so I'd recommend clay over this. The only advantage of mining pure essence is that full inventory can be obtained from one ore deposit. Next I'll be showing you a faster way of power mining iron, whilst also making a profit. This is one of my favourite places to mine as it's fast experience. You will need a light source to survive here and you need to have completed the quest The Lost Tribe to access the area. Once you have a full inventory of iron ore, talk to Mistag and sell it. This is a lot faster than dropping it, and per inventory you make 350 gold. Next I'm going to be mining gold in Karamanja. There are 10 ore deposits that can be mined here. Gold requires a mining level of 40 and sells for 304 gold per piece. Next I'll be going to the gem rocks. You need to have completed the quest Shiloh Village to access these. Gem rocks require the same level to mine as gold at level 40 mining and it's random as to what you acquire whilst, whilst uh, mining them. You either get opal, jade, topaz, sapphire, emerald, ruby or diamond from a rock. I recommend taking a chisel and turning the opal, jade and topaz gems into bolt tips as this will reduce your bank trips. As you can see I've been pretty lucky with the diamonds and things that I've actually mined from here but it is random as to what you get so finally I'll be showing you where to mine adamantite ore for this I advise a dragon pickaxe and varrock armor that is acquired from the hard varrock achievement diary tasks I found the best method to obtain a full inventory of this ore is by finding a quiet mining point like the one I found in Karamanja and switching worlds the ore requires a level 17 to mine and is worth 1,185 gold each. 
However, if you don't have the Dragon Pickaxe and the Varrock Armour, then this is going to take you a lot of time to achieve a full inventory. Thanks for watching my guide. If you have any questions regarding this guide, you can submit them at www.rs2ragstoriches.co.uk or if you wish to see any additional money-making methods, they can be found at the same address.